Laura, thank you. Clayton Bay Centene announces big time layoffs, but this morning it's still unclear how the layoffs will impact Centene employees in our area. Fox News' Chris Renier reporting in Clayton with details on what we know at this point. Chris. We are just outside the Centene headquarters here on Forsyth. A release from the company saying some 2,000 workers are being laid off. That is just over 3% of the Centene workforce. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox over the Centene headquarters here in Clayton. At this point, the company isn't saying how many of the workers being laid off are from the headquarters here in Clayton or the St. Louis area in general. A published report says the impacted workers will be notified between October 2nd and October 5th, and their last day of work will be December the 8th. Centene is a managed health care company that offers Medicaid and Medicare health insurance plans. The company's website saying Centene has more than 68,000 employees. One possible factor in the layoffs could be that eligibility for certain pandemic-related health care coverage expired earlier this year, meaning fewer people were eligible for that coverage. In a statement, Centene saying it did not take this decision lightly, the statement reading in part, we routinely assess our workforce to ensure we have the talent and expertise necessary to support our members and the evolving needs of our business. The statement going on to read, Centene will support impacted employees with severance packages and outplacement services consistent with our standard approach. People we spoke with here in Clayton are concerned about the layoffs. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I hate to hear that they're going to lose their jobs and I hope they can find employment soon somewhere else. I hope it doesn't, you know, affect too many more people. Uh, 2,000 is a big number. We do know a sizable number of Centene employees work from home, so that might make it a little more challenging to realize the full impact of these layoffs. We have reached out to Centene to see if they can give us any more details about how localized these layoffs may be. For now, reporting in Clayton, I'm Chris Fernier.